But what I'm just trying to illustrate here is that the fascia is supposed to be a nice, smooth, gliding surface. We are going to put the uh, FF5 on the tissue and I'm going to push, pull it down. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Oakford Health. Today we're talking about inflammation of the Achilles tendon, commonly referred uh, to as Achilles tendonitis. Before we get into it, just like to, to say that if you've been watching our channel, Oakford Health on YouTube and enjoying the content we're putting out, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. When a new video uh, becomes available, you'll get notified. Also, if you enjoy this particular video at the end, I'd appreciate it if you give it a, a thumbs up, okay? So what's the Achilles tendon? The Achilles tendon is just a long shoestring uh, tendon that is formed from the two major calf muscles, the gastrocnemius, which is your largest of the two, and the soleus muscle. Both of those muscles come down and they form into the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon then comes all the way down and attaches into what's known as the calcaneus bone, or referred, commonly referred to as the heel bone, okay? So, what causes Achilles tendonitis? There's, there's a couple different causes. First off, if the uh, calf muscles themselves, the gastrocnemius and the soleus, begin to build up fascial adhesions, uh, scar tissue, it's good, both of those muscles are gonna start to lose elasticity. The loss of elasticity is gonna result in a tugging of the Achilles tendon, causing the inflammation. We're not gonna go over how to do the fascia release of the gastrocnemius and the soleus today. We've done a previous video on that not too long ago. I'm gonna put up the link right above me right now. After this video, um, go over to that video and you can watch uh, releasing the calf muscles, doing some fascia release work on the calf muscles if you feel that your calf muscles are straight, uh, are tight. What we're gonna talk about today is the second cause of Achilles tendonitis, and sometimes it's a combination of both, but we're gonna to focus today on the second cause, and that is a restriction in the glide of the Achilles tendon itself. In other words, as we move our foot and we do various activities, um, that Achilles tendon has to be able to glide up and down without any restriction. Um, when it gets restricted, which we're gonna talk about in one second, when it gets restricted, it gets irritated. All right, so what I wanna do is try to give you a little bit of a visual of what we're dealing with um, when we're talking about uh, irritation of the Achilles tendon due to friction on the tendon itself. Now, I know you guys love it out there when I put to, uh, when I put to use my fourth grade arts and crafts skills, which is exactly what I have, fourth grade arts and crafts skills. But I did the best I could here. Let's look at this side as kind of normal anatomy, okay? If you picture this blue elastic band um, as um, the gastrocnemius and the soleus, which is nice and wide, and it comes down and it narrows and it forms the Achilles tendon, which is hooking into the calcaneus or heel bone, okay? Now, the plastic I put here is basically representing fascia. And there's a lot more fascia than just some, um, some plastic here. There's fascia around muscle fibers, muscles, groups of muscles. There's lots and lots of fascia here. But what I'm just trying to illustrate here is that the fascia is supposed to be a nice, smooth, gliding surface. We have fascia on the muscle here, fascia over here. And so when we're moving the ankle and the foot, and this Achilles tendon is going back and forth, back and forth, we should have nice, a nice smooth gliding surface because we have a nice, uh, nice smooth uh, fascia for that Achilles tendon to glide back and forth on. And there should be no friction down here on the Achilles tendon because all of this fascia should be nice and smooth and, and makes for a nice gliding surface, okay? So that's the, what's supposed to happen. Let's look at um, why we run into problems in irritation on the Achilles tendon. It, it, it's not something that happens overnight. This is a buildup, uh, micro traumas, injury after injury, you know, uh, depending on uh, just your daily activities, the sports you've played, but you will build up scar tissue into the area. And so let's once again, look at, we have the uh, calf muscles coming down into the Achilles tendon here, okay? Now let's look underneath here. Let's pretend that this now is uh, no longer that nice smooth fascia. We have fascial adhesion buildup, or what we call a lot of times knots. And we don't. We no longer have that nice smooth 
surface of, of fascia for there to be a glide. And so this rough and uh, bumpy uh, surface that I'm demonstrating by, you know, kind of twisting up all the, the plastic wrap here is now what this Achilles, as I'm moving this foot, this is what's rubbing onto the lower part of the calf, the Achilles tendon, and it's getting like a friction. It's like taking two sticks and starting a fire. You know, you rub two sticks long enough together, you create enough friction, you're gonna start a fire. Well, you rub this Achilles tendon over this rough surface of fascia, and what do you think's happening? You're gonna start a fire. And where's that fire gonna be? It's gonna be on the Achilles tendon. So I'm gonna show you some techniques today of how we're gonna work on the uh, getting rid of this stuff so that we can allow that nice smooth uh, glide of the Achilles tendon. Okay, so we're gonna move into some techniques. I'm gonna show you three different ways of working to break up that fascia. You know, I, I actually should have filmed the outtakes of, of uh, in between um, uh, clips here. I had to take all that tape off my calves. I should, have, I should have filmed the outtakes of me screaming as I was ripping the tape off my skin. It was not fun. Anyway, see the things I do for these videos for you guys. All right, so listen, I, uh, I tore all the tape off. Let's get to work on, on, on uh, the tissue in here. Now, first off, we're doing fascia release work. Warm up. Don't do this first thing in the morning right out of bed. Uh, make sure you're warmed up, whether you, you, you know, take a few minutes to uh, walk on a treadmill for a few minutes or just move around, get some blood flowing. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to just you know, take just your, your hand and your fist and just kind of like rub around on the calf and near the Achilles just, just to get some blood flow for 60 or 90 seconds just to you know, nice and easy and uh, to generate blood flow. The other thing I would recommend doing is put a little uh, massage cream, uh, hand lotion, anything you have to just give, to, to, to make the skin surface a little bit smooth so things will glide over it so you don't get too much friction on the skin, okay? Nothing oily, we don't want anything slippery and oily, but usually um, some type of massage cream or a hand, a hand cream usually will work well you don't need it, but I would recommend it just because if you work on the skin surface without it, it will get very, very red and you can actually really, you know, uh, you can even like irritate the skin to the point where the next day you could have like a scab on the area. So I would recommend it highly. So, all right, first technique we're going to do to get in on that adhesion was we're going to use a massage ball. As everyone knows, this is a Tai Chi, a regular size Tai Chi ball from Okra Med Health, very spiky. It gets it's going to get into the, the the deeper tissue because of the spiky uh, the spikiness of this ball, and we're going to start uh, into this area. Now, I'm going to just flex my calf. When you flex your calf, you can see where the Achilles tendon is. If you're not sure where it is, uh, just squeeze your calf muscles, and the tendon kind of pops out right there. When you see it, just kind of take your fingers and grip it, and just kind of pull it off to the side a little bit. We want to try to get underneath to get to some of this tissue here. So I just kind of nice and easy with the tips of my fingers, I'm gonna pull the Achilles tendon around this way and try to get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna take the massage ball and I'm gonna just kind of try to dig it in right alongside that Achilles tendon. Now I can do it without moving the Achilles tendon, but you can get a little bit more um, area in there if you just pull the Achilles tendon a little bit out of the way and roll it from about the, uh, right above the heel bone or right on the heel bone and then up. And as you get up a little bit higher, just move the, the soleus, um, which is lower, the soleus a little bit out of the way too, and just kind of rub it along. And I would spend about 60 seconds with firm pressure, just kind of rolling the spiky ball all along this tissue. When I mean rolling it, don't, not just up and down, side to side, in all different directions, with firm pressure from the lower part all the way there. And after you've done this side, and I'm not gonna show uh, this to keep the video, uh, you know, under 60, uh, 60 minutes here, <laughs> but I'm gonna, you would go to the other side and pull the, t the Achilles the opposite way and then work on the opposite side. But we're not gonna do that, but I'm just letting you know, you wanna go kind of pull the Achilles tendon this way and then come on the other side and pull the Achilles tendon the opposite way and work the other side of the Achilles tendon. Uh, after we've done that, uh, come back to the Achilles tendon. Once again, just kind of move it out of the way a little bit. Put the ball uh, about here, point to toe. Put firm pressure onto the ball. And as you push into the uh, lower part near the Achilles, also uh, pull, push in and also slightly pull back on the ball. So the pressure is being applied. Toe is pointed. Pressure is being applied in and then up. Okay, so in and up. 
and then from here hold it and then bring the foot back as far as you can just like that and do that five times and then move the ball up uh, you know an inch or so once again press in pull up and again bring the foot as far back as you can and we're going to do that several times all the way up uh, in here until we get to kind of the belly of the muscle um, right below the gastrocnemius. So you're going to push in, pull up, and then pull the foot back. So I'm trying to get all along this area here. Like I said, you know, you can you want to do work on the calf if you feel your calf is restricted. And that's why I put the link up earlier in the video. You know, um, we're not going to take the time here to work on the calf muscles. We're trying to work along where I showed you at the beginning of the video, that's the tissue in here along the Achilles, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it with the ball. We're gonna do some areas where we're gonna dig in by rubbing it, and then we're gonna do some trap and release work where we push in, pull up, and then go from pointed to flex in along the side. And then of course, we're gonna do the other side. Once again, move the Achilles the opposite way and work the other side. We're not gonna do that today just to save time. Another way to get in on that tissue, and if you don't have any of the stuff I'm showing you, you could do some of that stuff I was just showing you just with your fingers. Once again, you could get your thumb in here, point your toe, use your thumb to, to, to jam up on and trap the tissue and then do that flexion also. So, you know, if you don't have a spiky ball, which is uh, a good way of doing it, you can use your fingers. So, you know, just to let everyone know, sometimes people say, well, I don't have this, I don't have that. You know, you can get in there with your, your thumb and use your thumb to trap the tissue, okay? Other way we can get in there, we can get in there with, this is an FF5, a fascial um, force five. It's a stainless steel fascia release instrument. It, all the way around this, this uh, instrument, there's a dull edge. This is an awesome way to get in and break up uh, that adhesion that I demonstrated uh, earlier in the video. So get in on the, uh, come back down to the lower part. Take a section um, uh, of the uh, FF5 that kind of rounds out. You can use here or here. I like to use the bigger section here. And I'm gonna nice and easy, I'm gonna put the uh, FF5 on the tissue and I'm gonna push, pull it down towards that Achilles tendon. Just like that. Now you can do the same thing. You can take your thumb, you can kind of push that Achilles tendon out of the way and just glide it this way along the tissue. And if there's anything in there that resembles that knotted plastic wrap that I was just showing you earlier in the video, this is gonna glide over that tissue and will break up uh, anything that's not gliding. Normal tissue is nice and smooth and elastic, normal muscle tissue. So as you glide this uh, over normal tissue, it just glides along. If you glide, uh, take this instrument with this edge over that rough surface that I showed you with the plastic wrap, this thing is gonna catch that rough surface and break down that tissue. That's what's so awesome about this. So you're gonna go down along the side here, come all the way in the upper part of the Achilles tendon and just glide it along. Spend about 60 seconds just gliding it along just like that, okay? Um, areas are gonna get red when you work it. Blood flow's coming in, it's gonna get red, it's gonna get pink, can leave a little bruise here and there the next day, that's totally fine. That's what happens when you're doing some fascia release work. So I'm gonna go all along. Of course, we're gonna do the other side again. Uh, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna come in with this little smaller section and I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna point the toe and I'm gonna use this section to kind of push in and I'm gonna pull the, the, the FF5 in, in an upward direction. So I'm gonna push in and pull up and then I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna flex uh, the foot back like that. So I'm gonna use that tape. I'm gonna go from a pointing position to a flex position and I'm dragging the instrument along as I do that. And after I do a few passes with it, I start to move it up, just like that, all along the, uh, that inside area. Like I said, once again, you can get in there with your hand, pull the Achilles out of the way, and try to get in there a little deeper by pulling the Achilles out of the way, okay? Great way to break up adhesions with this stainless steel instrument. Um, it, 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 it works awesome. I mean, this can be used anywhere in the body, but it's an awesome way to get in uh, along the Achilles tendon. And the final thing you can do, because I know lots of you have massage guns out there. Massage guns are so popular these days. Of course, this is the SRI 3.0 from Ocrement Health. What I like about this, and some do and some don't, but this has a, um, a double uh, attachment that you can use. Perfect um, for getting it on the Achilles because what we can do is we can get right along the side on each side we can uh, bang out both sides together 
So I'm just going to turn this on. And I'm just going to take it up a couple notches here. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to go put the Achilles in between it. And I'm going to drag this right up along the, the lower calf with the Achilles in between it. And I'm going to spend about 60 seconds on each side of the Achilles. And then after about 60 seconds, I might give it a second of rest. And then I'm going to come back. And this time I'm going to point the toe. And then I'm going to drag the SRI up the Achilles as I flex the foot back. Point the toe, drag it along as you flex the foot back. I'm going to make several passes just like that. Now, if I want to get in a little deeper, I can just take one end of this and just push it right into the Achilles alongside of it. So I can get in really deep like this. If I want, I can move that Achilles a little bit too. And I can just drag it up and down. Once again, I'll spend a little time like that. And again, I can kind of move the foot as I'm doing this also. Now, if I happen to come across a particular area where I can really feel a knot in there, just take one, one of these prongs and just put it right on it and just hold it there for about 60 seconds right on the knot if you have a really prominent knot just put that uh, uh, attachment the SRI put it right on there and just hold it for 60 seconds you can just feel sometimes those knots just melt away so massage guns great way to work fascial adhesions I know they're super popular these days it seems like everyone that comes to my office owns a, some type of massage gun of course this is the best <laughs> no, I'm only kidding this is the SRI 3.0 I don't care what massage gun you have but they're awesome to use on fascial adhesions and, uh, and an awesome way to get and break up adhesions on that Achilles tendon all right so there you have it every other day that you you don't want to work it every day because if you're working um, that soft tissue it might be a little sore the next day so give it a day to rest after you get done doing some work on it, maybe ice it down for about 20 minutes and work it every other day. This is not a quick fix by any means. Fascia release work is never a quick fix. Uh, I would expect if your Achilles is bound up in there and there's a lot of adhesion, you're probably going to be working on it for at least four to six weeks of consistent work on there to really uh, get that adhesions that are uh, the fascial adhesions in the area to really break up. So be patient. Uh, limit your activities that are aggravating your Achilles tendonitis until it starts to loosen up and feel better. Okay, so uh, I hope that information helps and um, best of luck to all of you out there. Hey, listen, if you um, you know have a chance, visit my website, www.okramedhealth.com. All the stuff we were just showing available on the website, the SRI, the FF5, the different types of uh, sizes of Tai Chi balls, they're all available on the, on the website, so check it out. If you'd like to support my page, Visit me on uh, Patreon. We have a Patreon page set up. Appreciate the support. Anything that you can, uh, any way you can support the channel is awesome. If you've been enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel, Okramed Health on YouTube. Questions about exercises or injuries, just leave a uh, comment in the comment section below. I do everything I can to get back to everybody. And don't forget, Okramed Health is here to keep you fit forever.